So we've been discussing the Galaxy S22 Ultra throughout recent months. We've additionally talked about the regular S22 yet the in addition to variation of the S22 got scarcely any affection from the rumors. That, however, changes today as we have the official marketing material of the Galaxy S22 Plus, which additionally uncovers the full specification and features of the handset. Also there's a major redesign that we've just seen on the Ultra variants up to this point. Additionally, we have some report on the Exynos 2200 that may not agree with a lot of you. First up, here's the authority render of the S22 Plus. Again it appears to be indistinguishable from the S22 from both front and back. You may see that the bezels are fairly thicker than the S22, however that is the not the case. It's simply the black frame that adds up. It weighs 195 grams, which is 7 grams lighter than its predecessor. The S22 and S22 Ultra will weigh at 167 and 228 grams. The display is the place where we're seeing a few major redesigns. Past reports have shown us that, both the S22 Ultra and the S22 Plus will have a record display brightness at 1750 nits. Furthermore this report affirms that, but it also mentions that the S22 Plus for the very first time will get LTPO adaptive refresh rate like the S22 Ultra. It's the initial occasion when a non-Ultra S series phone is getting a LTPO display. For the people who don't know, the LTPO display allows the refresh rate goes from 1Hz to 120Hz depending on the content being shown. This outcomes in a huge expansion in battery life. So it's great to see Samsung giving a few premium treatment to the non-Ultra models too. The display resolution anyway will in any case remain at 1080p+. Both the S22 and S22 Plus will utilize a 50 megapixel main camera sensor, and this camera will have adaptive pixel technology. This means it can catch pictures in two modes. One will be pixel binning to yield 12.5 megapixel images. This isn't new. Current Samsung flagships utilize this technology already. However, the subsequent mode is new. Called, Remosiac Mode, this uses a software-based algorithm to scale and merge 50 megapixel images to an ultra-high 108 MP resolution. So even though the S22 and Plus won't have 108 megapixel sensors, they can still take images in that resolution thanks to the software wizardry. Lastly, the S22 Plus will have a 4,500 meters H battery with support for 45 watt fast charging. Now coming to the Exynos 2200, this report mentions that unlike the recent rumors which said Samsung will use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 worldwide for all the S22 variants, the UK and many more markets will still get the Exynos 2200 for the S22. Honestly, with so many conflicting rumors about the chipset, I don't know whom we should believe at this point. These are all credible leakers with a track record. And all of their statements are contradicting each other. I guess the best thing to do is wait for the unpacked event which is not too far away to know for sure what's going on unless some concrete evidence comes up. It's better to wait than form unnecessary expectations with the word of these leakers who are changing their statements day after day. Moving on, recently we got to know that the iPhone 14 Pro will have a pill-shaped cutout in the middle. Earlier rumors suggested it would be a hole punch cutout, but recently it was found that the information was incorrect, it's going to be a pill-shaped cutout. And now, it looks like both the rumors were true kind of, because the iPhone 14 Pro will have both punch hole and pill shaped cutout in the middle as per Ross Young, and the leaked display panel. 
To be honest, it looks different than all the phones out there but being different doesn't necessarily mean good, this one looks hideous, to be honest. That's it for now. As usual, fellows and ladies, thank you all for coming in and watching. See you in another video.